teen kidnapped as baby defense abductor. When 16-year-old Alexis Kelly Manigo sat down to fill out a job application, all she was worried about was being qualified for the position. But as she dug into her background, she uncovered a truth about the past that shattered her entire view of the world. It all seemed almost too surreal to Alexis. On July 10, 1998, in Jacksonville, Florida, a little girl entered the world kicking and screaming. Her mother, Shannara Mobley, was just a teenager, unwed and scared. Still, she was determined to give her the best life she possibly could. Also, if you have not done so already, please subscribe to our channel and click that notification bell to get inspired by these real-life stories every day. Now, back to the story. Due to complications during the delivery, Shannara and baby Kamaya had to spend some extra time in the hospital. And during that time, a nurse in scrubs entered the room where the duo rested. The woman had a purse around her shoulder, which was odd for a nurse on call, but Shannara trusted her. For the next five hours, the nurse chatted up the new mom and performed routine checks. One check turned up alarming news. Newborn Kamaya had a fever and needed medical attention. The nurse reassured Shannara as she wrapped Kamaya in a blanket and left the room. That would be the last time Shannara ever saw her newborn baby. With the purse slung over her shoulder, the woman, posing as a nurse, walked right out of the hospital, undetected with 10-day-old Kamaya in her arms. By the time the hospital and Shannara realized Kamaya had vanished, Kamaya was long gone. Once a rough sketch of the suspect was completed, police officers flooded the halls looking for any possible lead on the case. The FBI was brought in to assist with the investigation after local authorities reached a roadblock in the case. Tips were coming in, but each follow-up just led to more dead ends. The media went wild over the news of Kamaya's disappearance. Shannara was completely heartbroken. A few months turned to years and the case went cold. Eventually, the media moved on, but Shannara never did. Ten years after Kamaya disappeared, Shannara gave an interview to a local newspaper about what life was like without resolution. She often woke up in the middle of the night wondering what came of her stolen child and of the woman with the purse who took her. But 18 years later, police received a fresh tip that reopened the case. The lead took them all the way to Walterboro, South Carolina, to the front door of a woman named Gloria Williams. An investigation of the property revealed a set of documents, the birth certificate and social security card of an Alexis Kelly Manico, Gloria's 18-year-old daughter, who had the same birthday as Kamaya Mobley. Following the discovery, authorities arrested the 51-year-old for the kidnapping of Kamaya Mobley 18 years prior. She was extradited to Florida, and Alexis was subject to a DNA test that confirmed she was Kamaya. This was not news to her. As it turns out, Kamaya, then known as Alexis, had an idea that something wasn't right a few years before when she tried to apply for a job. To be hired, Kamaya needed to present her birth certificate and social security card. Hers were, of course, fraudulent. Upon learning the illegitimacy of her documents, Kamaya and her half-sister, Arika Williams, sat down with Gloria to confront her about the issue. Immediately, Gloria broke down and told Kamaya the truth. She and her then-boyfriend, Charles, were expecting a little baby girl together. They were going to name her Alexis. Unfortunately, Gloria lost the baby. Heartbroken, she did the only thing she could think of. She stole Kamaya from a young mother in Florida, she explained, because she wanted to bring a baby back to her ex-boyfriend, Charles Manigo, and rekindle their relationship. At first, things were great between Gloria, Charles, and their new baby, Alexis. But then, in 2003, they finally ended their relationship. Charles left, and Gloria kept Kamaya, Alexis, and all her secrets. At first, Kamaya was furious, hurt, and betrayed by her mother's story. But after processing what she'd learned, she realized Gloria had been an outstanding mother to her. But the investigation continued nevertheless. Kamaya made it clear she was not mad at Gloria and that she intended to defend her in court. This left Kamaya's birth parents in limbo. Knowing what her mother had done, Kamaya grew curious about her birth family. When you find out you have another family out there, she said, it's just more love. 
So after 18 years, Kamaya reconnected with the woman who'd given birth to her in Jacksonville, as well as her true father, Craig Aiken. Indeed, there was just more love. Still, Kamaya was in a strange place. She knew the woman who raised her had committed a crime, but at the end of the day, Gloria had been so kind to her, she couldn't have asked for a better mother. After appearing on ABC's Good Morning America, Kamaya explained that because of one person's awful mistake, she was given a blessed life. She made it clear that she didn't want her mother, Gloria, to suffer. However, on June 18, 2018, Gloria was sentenced to 18 years in a Florida prison for kidnapping. A grieving Kamaya, who preferred the name Alexis, confessed she wished police officers never found her. See, reuniting a stolen child with their birth parents is never easy, and she was lucky to get more answers than most. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and consider sharing it with someone who may find it interesting. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you in the next one.